Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and good night, good afternoon to where you may be. Uh, this is Saturday night, Supernova, or Supernova Saturday nights, however you feel. Ladies and gentlemen, our special guest tonight, oh, there they are, the loving poppers. Wow, well, go on, me people, wow, well, go on. What's up, Let me say hello. Let me say hello. Hi, Cooley. What's up, Cooley? <laughs> What's, up, Cooley? <laughs> What's good? How are you doing today? Great. We're good. Nice good, Saturday good. night. Good. This is a Saturday night, and I see Stubman got his beer. All right. Feel it. Enjoy your beer. Enjoy your beer. Enjoy your beer. I'm, I'm, I'm beverage free tonight. Maybe I'll grab some water or something like that. Um. So what are we doing right. here this Saturday night? Why why are we not at a party? Why are we not playing a live show? Or are you going to a live show afterwards? What's happening? Twenty twenty is happening. This is a trick question. Nineteen. This is a trick question. I'm watching you. I'm sorry. I'm watching you guys double. I gotta turn the screen off. It's been a long time, man. Played a show. It has been a long time. And this time, what have you been up to? We actually enjoy the solitude. One day. <laughs> We had a rehearsal. You had a rehearsal? Yeah, it was something. You wrote some new songs? We oh, bunch of new things. We, were, we worked on them. It was fun. It was, it was kind of, you know, kind of like old times. Yeah. Old exactly. times are what we miss. I, I'll tell you one thing, man. As far as a band, you guys are, you know you're my, my favorite band. I've, I've told you that and I've been uh, advocating, but maybe the public doesn't know who you guys are. Where are you guys hailing from? Virginia, uh, D.C., Maryland. I gotta stop watching the screen. I can't see you, no, Kelly. Say that ah, again. Ah, there you go. It's the DMV, Virginia, the DC, DMV. Maryland. Yeah, Baltimore-ish. I'm Baltimore. down in Southern Maryland right now. I'm down in St. Mary's County. Oh, cool. So when did when did you guys start as a band, and how did you form? When would we start? I forget. I always forget this. Who knows? 20, uh, 20, May 2015. 2015. Yeah. That's right. He was May, just like five years. So you've been a band for five years. How many records yeah. do you guys have? Uh, two EPs and one LP. And how many songs do you have? Because I have about a thousand. How, how many songs do you guys have? Well, really, like forty or fifty? Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a that's more than a EP. That sounds like a couple albums. Dude. Well, yeah, we have dub. We have dub versions of our albums too. So that, like, you know, it cooks the books oh. a little. So it seems oh. like we got. Oh, okay. Really like a few tunes, but you know, they just keep remixing them and call it something different. But uh, the songwriting, are the, uh, do we have the two songwriters in the room here now? It's actually three of us. Oh. And we are all here. Yeah. Dan and Kelly and myself. Amazing. Amazing songwriting there, Dan. I didn't think I got you the last time I had uh, the car sessions, but welcome, Dan. Yeah. Sorry. I couldn't make it. It's, it's truly a pleasure to be here. Cooley. Uh, and it's, uh, you're the man. It's been a minute uh, since I've seen you, and it's it's our pleasure. I don't think I'm the man. I think you guys are the men's and the women's right now. So let's let's keep the focus here. Let's keep the focus. <laughs> you guys <Okay>. are <laughs> what? What, Kelly? What? <laughs> it's too long to explain. It's too long to okay. explain. We'll take, something we'll take, exciting. We'll... Something very exciting. Okay, good. Hold it. Hold it. Or you could just let I'll hold it. Hold it. Yeah. Okay. So the first song you guys wrote, did you know the magic was there or was it something that you developed as you were playing? Uh, we were I think actually... the chemistry developed over time. It's, uh, well, you guys had been playing for a little while uh, as a group before I jumped in. So what were you going to say, Jorge? Well, the band kind of comes from the ashes of another couple of groups. And it was just like, we knew Kelly or I knew Kelly and her voice and it was like we should do what we're you know we already had like a bunch of the tunes but then uh we got together with kelly and it and then the tunes even kept kept coming even quicker now it's kind of like <laughs> choose which tunes let's are say worth. the first album we worked on was us collaborating on songs we had made individually and now our second like full album it, it you know the magic it's so it's it's us coming together as a force and it sounds different or more cohesive um i wouldn't uh not different but i'm just excited for the next album that's coming out i, I really every <laughs> single song i'm like oh i listen to it all like 
like it's music I love, you know, it's my band yeah. and I, <laughs> I'm my own biggest fan. Big boy. Well, you have a, you have a bunch of fans out there. Let's, let's stop. You have a bunch of fans out there. And, and today we hope um, the people that introduce you guys and they hear more about you and listen to more of your music. So you'll have thousands more fans because you're a hidden secret as far as I know. And once it gets out, it's going to be crazy for you guys. Mm. Be, pre- be prepared. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, have your wits. Have your wits I like about that. you. Uh, oh. Well, I, I see I'm, it. Be, it's all right. It's all right. I'm have ready. your wits about you, though. Have your wits about you, George Jorge. Yeah. I already, I see you're level headed. Are you the band leader? Oh man, come on! We trying to start a fight already? No, 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 no! It's just it's not a fight. Uh, did I say something wrong? <laughs> What did uh, I, say? I, I, I think I, I think he's the skipper. I think he is the general. I'm a control freak. The... That's for sure. I definitely am a control freak. But uh, you know, it's cool to be in a band where you where we just have the formula. You know what I mean? It's just like we write the tunes and we. It just it all comes together so quickly. It's never it's never been uh, it's never been so effortless to just like go, go from the beginning of a song idea to like okay, well we're at, we're playing it, you know. And then we, we it's like we get to rehearse and it's like. We have too many songs to rehearse that are new. And we're like, which songs should we focus on this time? Because we have so many, you know what I mean? And that's, it's a good feeling because it's not always like that. Sometimes it's, it's pretty hard to get blood from the stone, you know? Yeah. It's, a, it's enough good players that when we're in the rehearsal space too, we lock, I mean, we can lock in pretty, pretty quick. I mean, we tried different things, but you can lock, we, we can lock in pretty quick. And I feel the same way, like uh, Kurt, our drummer, who's not here. Uh, he and I have known each other for a long time, but haven't played that much together before uh, the Poppers and everyone else. I just feel like we all are on the same page always. And I just think that really shows, you know. Definitely, definitely. There's... What, would you, what would you say, what would you classify your music as? Because I saw... In the title, it said um, "ska reggae band." I would not even put you in ska. What, like we never? I guarantee you, if you saw that, we never once. But I mean, we're down with ska, and we represent. I mean, we re- we respect it all, and obviously, you know, the history. But we don't ever play ska ever, right? We just don't. So, but I just think ska. Not you know, it's, it's sort of like people who know the history of Jamaican music. If you say ska, or I guess rock steady became sort of a catch-all term, meaning. Yeah. Nerds who know who you know they know a lot of Desmond Decker songs or whatever you know what I mean. So, but we we tend to do we call it lovers rock because we don't really we don't talk about jaw or anything. We just talk about other shit and uh, and we do sound sort of like the late seventies to mid eighties. That's kind of what we're trying to in terms of the rhythm section. And we're trying to make sort of that 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 era is what we're trying definitely, to definitely for. definitely have the lovers rock part down. I think with Kelly's vocals, it just transcends what was and is, is something totally new again. Mm. Thank you. Yeah, because the rhythm is definitely Lover's Rock. You can hear the Lover's Rock and it's sweet. And then we got Kelly. Bang, 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 Kelly. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> let's, let's run to a video while she's smiling because she says she wants to be sad when she sings. We're gonna keep you smiling. <laughs> let's, play some, let's play some videos here and we'll come right back and we'll talk to the Love and Poppers. Ladies and gentlemen, the Love and Poppers, and if you don't know them, you should get to know them right now. This is the time you get to know them while they're in the infant stage before they bust like a helium balloon. Let's go. Thank you. 
<clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, we're back here with the Love and Papas from out of the DMV area of the world. That would be uh, D.C., Virginia, Maryland. How are we doing over there, gents and ladies? Are we back? Or is it just us? Ah, there we are. So you were saying when you guys write together, it's, it's just automatic. Yeah. Well, it's fun. Yeah. Not automatic. These guys are machines, man. They're just pumping them out. <laughs> so no shortage of songs and no shortage of inspirations. True. Where do you draw the most inspiration from? Uh, the world, I don't know. <laughs> Heartbreak. Books, Heartbreak. Books and like little phrases people say that you're just like, oh shit, I gotta write that. I gotta steal that. That kind of thing. In terms of lyrics. For right, me, it's, it's, it's more question. music. Uh, the music, the history of the music, that's what inspires me and trying to trying to live up to the standards of what our, you know, what the, what the true, true kings did, and kings and queens of the I, music, uh, reggae scene. I'm loving the angles here. See, because all of y'all are coming from different points of views and different pers perspectives. Go ahead. You're into the lyrics. Daniel, uh, you're into... Well, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just going to... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, part, that's a it part of it, yeah. It seems, it seems so, because I'm hearing, I'm hearing the formula as, it, as, it, as I'm dissecting it here. Yeah, yeah. So Daniel's into creation and sound of what it was before and making it into something good today as as you're listening to the lyrics and forging your own path with the with the lyrics because it's it's definitely not something that was before and kelly comes with a spice to make it nice that's why they call him <laughs> Dubmaster dan man Dubmaster dan He's the, he comes with the nice all the time yeah, I, I don't really focus on the uh, lyrics at all. I mean, I, I leave that up to, you know, Kelly and, uh, and Jorge. Um, I just hear, I mean, that's that goes for when I listen to music, too. I don't really listen to the actual lyrics. I just listen to the notes. So wow. I kind of let them I let them do that. Wow. Heard you say that before, Dan. Yeah. Well, it's sort of like the lyrics don't come easily. Like I had to at some point I had the epiphany of like, oh, because I'm the same way as Dan. I don't listen to like Peter, but I'm like, oh, people are listening to, not me, but some percentage of the population is listening to the lyrics. So we might as well not say, I love you, the sky is blue, or some shit. Like, we might as well try to say something while we're doing it at the same, I don't know. That's, that's the idea. But Dan is like a, a great reggae barometer. Like, he's like, if Dan is like, no, that bass line or that, that guitar shouldn't be doing, eh, eh, it, should do your, it should be just one chop or whatever, or let's go a couple BPMs. You know, Dan is good. Is really ha is so focused in that way. Uh, You're the where, scientist. He's the he's the scientist of, of the Jamaican. Totally. Thing. Like as far as vocals and um, chords and harmony, and I love you know the Jamaican music, but I'm coming more from like a Beatles E play. So like a lot of these songs would it, you could do different arrangements, sort of in like a '60s psychedelic pop Beatles E bubble gummy thing, you know, and that would still work. But then, you know, we put those things together and then Kelly and then Vic Rice and then Tarko's handsome face and Buddy <laughs> doing the world ball, tambourine and Kurt with his, you know, huge arms and Luke, who's not here, who's our <laughs> other keyboard player, who's another monster, you know. He's miles. So a total of there's what, six of you guys, seven of you guys? Six, six boys, one girl. Six boys, seven. one girl. Seven all together. That's that's a that's a big band, and not one horn, dude. That's how you know we're not Sky. <laughs> that's not true. Selected doesn't have any horns. No. We're gonna see in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Listen, if we we're, we're we're children of Jamaican music, so however it comes, we appreciate it. You get me? So I I love lovers rock. I sing lovers rock too, which you will see one day. Um. And if Dan sends me some checks, too. I'll mm -hmm. definitely send you some checks. Dude, you don't, even, you don't even know what the that can would, of that would, that would be my honor. <laughs> Here's a yes, question sir. from Jessica. She says, have you guys played Philadelphia yet? We've been very yeah. lazy. We did. We, on, before COVID, we were starting to, like, you know, spread our wings a little bit. But we're, it's just tough because, you know, people got kids and... 
I for me, it's always about once. I think we had an offer once and we couldn't make it. Yeah, I don't know. What we're into, I love Philly. I love me some Philly. My in-laws okay. are from Philly. You're getting love from Philly because they're asking you. They they definitely want you to come out there and play probably with um with our friends there, uh, Catbite. Yeah, Catbite's great. Shout oh, out to Catbite. We we, we play Trocadero with... if it's still there. Uh, Re- rest in peace. That's Trocadero. ambitious. That's ambitious. Troc is, <laughs> Troc is dead though, unfortunately. Yeah. Troc is done. Is it? Even before this COVID shit, I think. I think. <laughs> Just play will pay upstairs, maybe. I don't know. No, there, try, there'll be, there'll try, be a venue for you. They got wood go, on the walls. You can, go, you can go to Electric Factory. Mm, there you go. Yeah. That's ambitious. I remember there being an offer in Philly once, but I, don't, I think we can make it. I don't remember. <laughs> I, I, I got another question from you guys. Hold on a second. This is from Annie Clemens. What's up, Annie? Um, she says, hey, I want Annie. to know all about how you work with with precise producers like Victor Rice. I want to know all about how you work with the precise producers like Victor Rice. Now, uh, is it a, a, yeah. We just send him the shit. We record up to now. And granted, he we love Victor so hard. But uh, we just, uh, up to now, we've just been like, we recorded it. We have, And then uh, he just mixes the shit out of it. But we've, and for this new, these new ones, we've been sending, I've been sending him demos and just like, I think he's going to have more of a hand probably in the next one. Hopefully he can even, you know, he's got his whole issues trying to get out of here. It's a whole thing, but hopefully we can actually be in the same room this time. So he yeah. mixes your albums with, because the vocals, the, when I listen to it, the vocals are up front, like Jamaica music, like, like it's more, the vocals are up front and you hear the music and it's even too, but the vocals are up front. Like he's doing that. He's mixing it. The mix wow. is, I mean, granted we, you know, he's very cool about us being like, hey, uh, the hi-hat, not, not necessarily the hi-hat, that's a bad example. But, you know, just be like, can the, on the third time around, the keyboard, can that come up, or the harmony on this, you know, he's yeah. cool with that. But his mixes, you know, it, 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 rarely do you need to more than like a second pass at it. And you're like, mm. that's Vic, really good. I got to send him some checks. It's crazy. He takes that shit to space. He just, he, yeah. he knows that shit. I can't do that. I don't know how to do that. That's, so you guys awesome. just record it and pass it on to him to do the magic. Well, and then the coolest part is when he sends back all the dubs. He does them all live, right? So he sends like yeah. three or four of them in a row, and you're just like, just like. It's hard to pick which dub. Nice. <laughs> nice, Always nice, uh, nice. three or four from of each song, right? Yeah. yeah. Super right, intuitive, some- natural. We got some more questions for you. Here, oh, this one. And it's not directed to anyone. It, just jump in if you feel like answering it. It says, this question This question is from Michael Chappell. To write, do you guys get together, send files back and forth, or take turns at all? All three. All three. There are a lot of demos. Like, K- Kelly and I have quite a few, like, email text threads where it's like, what about on the second verse? What if we try, we flip it and we say that it's actually from the perspective of the first guy? You know what I'm saying? Like... <laughs> That's like a lyrical thing. And then, I, you know, we have, the iPhone is so great, such a great tool for when you rehearse, just as like a good, just like record it there, you know. Like when we, the last rehearsal we had, we recorded all the tunes, sent them out to everyone, just like date, write the date of it. So you can see sort of the evolution of the tune. And it's, 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 we're, we're fortunate that the technology exists, that we can do that shit. Where at the end of the day, you'd have to like, you know, it was a whole process. So of, this is iPhone. iPhone. It's really fun. It's just play. It's this is my first real band and and playing music. I didn't realize that you really bond with these people that you get to know very intimately because it's such a vulnerable space and it's just it's just so fun. It's it's not it's natural. It's not forced. And we if there's a lull like, you know, it's not na- like peaks and valleys of times with creative energy coming through but um it's all fun well we take you very serious i take you very serious as i've told you before Thank what you, your really voice well. i do I, I i take you guys very seriously it's thank you coolie and i've told you before what your mission is what i see your mission to be 
And uh, for those who don't know, I just think that she has this this voice that is going to pull the world in the music. And that you've just you've just you've just created something that's that is going to be timeless. You guys, you just did that. Let me let me play another video on Snapchat. Thank you. One more video there, John, and, let, and let's let let's let the public hear what I'm talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, you are frozen, but you are alive still, Kelly. Damn. We're, gonna we're, we're live on the sh on the air, so I guess we're going to see you shortly when you reappear. Well, he's hold, doing. Hold, you're playing. Hold on a okay, second. all right. Stop so, video. so, so this video that we just finished watching, this one was yeah. done for. This was done for a uh, supernova, right? Right. No, it wasn't. No? It was no? That's, no, that that's supernova. That was, that was recorded the same day that we recorded the supernova tune that was on the supernova thing. And that was like, we had an hour and Dan, myself and Kelly recorded one of our tunes still today, which Cooley is, is down with. We appreciate you playing that tune all the time. And, but then this is just a Beatles, this is a Beatles cover that we did a cover by the Beatles, like uh, from their second record with, you know, when they were listening to a lot more girl group R and B and stuff, you know, so we just kind of rock steadied it very minimalistic with just me and Dan and a little drum machine and, and Kelly, of course, doing the Kelly you mean, thing. You mean I just missed it talking to you guys? Or, you mean there was well, another video? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I will watch it on the replay for sure. So you guys get together. You're outside in the, in the windy 
backyard in D.C. or Maryland, and you say, you know, we got to put something together here for Supernova, and you come up and you and you give us an acoustic version of Still Today, which you hadn't even recorded as of yet. Is that correct? Right. And that grabs the attention of myself and anyone else that sort of saw Supernova. Hopefully. Um, absolutely. So in your wildest dreams, what is it that you would like to see for the band? In your wildest dreams, don't, and don't hold back. <laughs> Dan, what do you think, Dan? <laughs> <laughs> he passed the buck. Come on, Jorge, come on! I don't want ever want to work in my life. I'd love to. I'd love. I to mean, that yeah, that, that, that would be beautiful. Not like to have to. For this, for this to be the. Uh, whoa, my house. My house. This to be the I'm main source of the All right, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take it one at a time, so I can hear you. And someone turn off your um turn off your phone back there. Turn off your phone. Thank you. Yeah. So in oh hey, I'm gonna go with you first, and I'm gonna go with you, Dan, and I'm gonna go with Studman, I'm gonna go with Kelly, and I'm gonna go with. Oh, they're hanging out on the porch. Okay, cool. So, <laughs> Jorge, in your no, wildest dreams. No, no, no. I just, you know, like I said, I just, you know, I just want to keep writing tunes and it would be great to never have to, in my life, dig a ditch or make my lower back hurt by having to do any work ever, ever, ever. <laughs> and I just hang out with my family and write tunes with my friends. That's pretty much the goal. And would, you, would, that's it. Yes. The would dream. you ever produce for anyone else? Or would you just stay within that realm of the love and purpose? I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't know. What's the project? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I, okay. Right now, uh, I have yeah. to put my boy in front of the computer to do first grade. You know what I'm saying? So it's gonna have to be. It can't be fucking. Uh, you know, <laughs> God, it's in Cleveland. You know, I'm not 20 anymore. I got, I got responsibilities. So it's got to be like. But yeah, I'm down. I, I love recording. That's my favorite thing of all time. You know. The studio is okay. my okay. place to be, so. Okay. Dan, same question. I would love to travel as a group, um, you know, kind of check out the world a little bit. Um, and, yeah, just kind of make this uh, be my main my main focus and, and career. That would be my, my goal. Dan, do I know I you from the Pi Tasters? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No longer with them, but uh, great friends of mine. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Keith. Dan has a silly idea that he thinks he can that the you uh, can never leave the pie tasters as if that were no you real. can you can never leave the pie tasters no <laughs> oh, I, I know that I know that I'm <laughs> always a part of the family and, and those are my guys pie for yeah. life pie for yeah, life those, those are my boys yeah okay Studman hey look man playing with these guys you know great friends of mine pie fam playing playing music with these guys is a dream. I mean, I, I love reggae music. I love playing and just being able to step into our rehearsal space. And Dan comes with a new idea. Jorge and Kelly wrote a new song. It's it's amazing. So yeah, I just want to keep keep making records. I mean, the if the first record is any indication on what we can do, then this next record is going to be even better, and the one after that probably even better. So I'm just trying to. Keep making records, man. Are you guys on all platforms and all streaming um, platforms? I think we're really bad at this part of it, Cooley. Man, we fucked up. We need some. Oh, we are. Oh, we are. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> they said you got to get the social media thing together because we need to see more of you guys. We don't see enough of you, so we need to we need to see more of your social media presence in this world more videos, more even lives. We need to see you guys active, okay? Just a little advice. Yeah, man. Appreciate Kelly, well, go on, Kelly. Well, I see you come back. You, you know good the over there? Sorry? I said, Kelly, you know the question? Um, what, what like... Let, let me give it to you again. What, yes, in okay, your wildest you. dreams, where would you like to see yourself? Um, I've always thought I'd like to be... Uh, Dave Matthews band level of famous or Kings of Leon where you have a group who is really introspective and and considering what you say because we definitely are delicate with um, 
the message we want to portray. For me, it's like uh, about love and self-love and uh, growth um, so that I better the world or I inspire someone to make, to create or, uh, you know, be admired. That's a huge thing for me, you know, be loved by every person, treated well. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah, no, no, that's, that's beautiful. That's good. That's good, Kelly, because we need, we need someone to, um, to carry the banner. And We're understand. Yeah. Give me a second. No, no ways. Ca carry the banner of um, the message so that you can deliver the message, not just, you know, through the words, but as, as a person that's going to be vocal. This is just a little bit of media training for you guys. Someone has to be, well, sorry, I'm, I'm talking to you guys because I love you guys. So I just want to put it out there. So mm -hmm. someone has to carry that message and you're doing a great job. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Taco. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Come, come into the light, Taco. Come into the light. Come into the light. Come into the light. The bass player should be. Wait. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on. I want to see your face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I think I think there's there's something better one going on with the other camera. There you go. There you go. We're What's up, brother man? Media. I know you don't like the media. I know you're just hiding. From oh me. no, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm all so about. In, in your wildest dreams, where 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 would you like to be, and where would you see yourself? Me? Yeah, and the band, and the band yourself. <laughs> it's okay. I'm just happy playing music with all these people. You know, uh, Jorge and I have known each other for 25 years. Is Kurt and I God. for 20 years. Huh? Hey, this is my time to shine, <laughs> Bugman. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but seriously, uh, like Jorge and I have been uh, great friends for 25 years. I love playing music with, with Jorge, with Kurt, and then all these new people now. Uh, Dan and Budman, and it's just great. I love Luke it. Skylarker. Luke Skylarker also. Luke Skylarker yeah. for sure. Luke too. Yeah, of course. Jackman, Jackman. I mean, let me shout <laughs> out so, your drummer. So, so if let you're me asking me where I, where I mm -hmm. want to be, I, I, I'm I'm happy where I am. You know, it's that's good. beautiful. That's beautiful. Solid, bro. Solid. Shout out to <laughs> Curtis who is not here on the on the live. Yeah. Curtis is the drummer. I've known Curtis for as long as I've known the pie tasters. Yeah. So shout out to Curtis for having an amazing group of people here and making great music. We're going to play one more video, come back and fill some questions from the audience. And um, yeah, we'll be right back. Talk to me guys some more. Stay in. <laughs> Place 
sounds great and where can you, your record can be found in jump up records that's right you can get all uh, of your records say again all of your records can be found in jump up ja, um our dub record uh, lines our full length lp and the dub version shout out to chuck who shout is out to chuck Ren. forever and yeah. ever without chuck who knows what would be going on for <laughs> honestly but uh Enough respect to chuck but uh yeah that like it's in terms of the hard copies, and then obviously the Spotify's and the iTunes, all the usual places to steal music. You know, you 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 connected with the right guy because Chuck has been pushing authentic reggae music in its in its form here in America, and whoever plays that type of music, Chuck is the person to follow your type of music with him. But what Chuck has found now. Is something that's really gonna put his label on the map. So big up yourself, Chuck Ren. Big up your blood clad self. Yeah, because you got something now, bro. Uh <clears throat> excuse me. And the prize fighters, big up the prize fighters too, like them too. It was crazy too. Chuck put out like five records of DMV bands like last year or the year before. It was crazy. Yeah, yeah. Put out every, put out all of our records, man. It, it felt nice, man. He's he know he knows talent, man. I I know, and he he's very particular too. Now everybody's gonna go on a label, so he recognizes it as well. Definitely does. And the next record is coming out on on jump um jump up as well. Uh, it's not really determined. We don't even know. We still we gotta record the motherfucker still. You know, they're they're, they're they're like a million unanswered questions, and that's just that's just one of the many questions. That sounds like a that sounds like a title, bro, of a song. Which one is that? Let me write that. You write Hold it on. down. A million unanswered questions. Kelly, sing it. A million unanswered questions. Oh, God. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Come on, go on. Who, who's got the guitar? Oh, hey, you got the guitar? <laughs> is it minor or is it major? Shit, what are we doing? Are we happy or are we sad about it? Obviously, <laughs> A million unanswered. A million unanswered. That's not what I'm unanswered That's oh. So, let me, let me ask you a question now. You, you wrote um, The History. I, I keep coming back to that song. It's just, oh. it's just so. Enemy of History? Yes. You wrote that song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. What were you thinking when you wrote that song? Um, I think that one's more... I was I, I, I really like uh, nonfiction biographies, you know, historical, you know, shit about people, you know, who've lived hundreds... Of, I just, I think I, uh, I, at one point, you know, it's basically about the authors of these books, you know, they're, they're people just like us with experiences and and just because it's written in a book or whatever you know you have to remember that these people might be wrong about some shit they're not even maliciously wrong about some shit they just might worship the the subject of their book and you know what i mean like it's just like you all whenever you read something you have to remember that we're all human beings uh with uh with our our baggage and that's kind of what that song's about it's kind of about it's kind of a uh, written history, really, like documented history. Hmm. And I could go on, but it would be fucking stupid. Heavy, man, heavy. Shut up, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> it is. 
That one and Mr. David, heavy, man, heavy. Well, that's a different thing. That's a real thing. That's a real life scenario. Man. Let's hear it. That one, that mm. one, oh, man, I can't talk about that. That one's, that one's about just sort of having, you know, I don't, I have like a, I have a, a training wheel ska fame, you know what I'm saying? Not real fame, but, but even me and my, my training wheel fame had scary stalkers that thought you wrote songs about them and shit and just like, and that's kind of what that song's about. Just find the confrontation of like, people are like, oh, you, I know you wrote that song about me. And it's just like, so anyway, I, I don't want to, I don't want to say too much. Not just Okay. Because, yeah. Yeah. Talk, you don't need to feed anybody. You don't need to feed anybody's uh, obsessions. Just, well, you know, it's this, the cliche. I know it sounds like pretentious as fuck, but it's just like, you want, if someone thinks it's about their uncle or whatever, or yeah. a, a, a sandwich day, then you want, you don't want to fuck that up for people. You want them to yeah. keep about that sandwich. So you don't want to, tell too much about it or whatever. Okay. Uh, so it says here, another question from Day Jobs tells us how poppers get grocery money. It's not only about popping. Uh, that's that's Matthew. I'm trying to decipher that one. Um, <laughs> also, <clears throat> you guys have a single out in the UK? Say it again? You guys have a single out in the UK? Yes, we are doing a single on uh, with Sean from Pama, where he's taking two of the tunes from our record. He's doing the history, your jam, piano playing, and uh, oh, that's a great song too. Oh man, I'm so fucked up. I meant to write notes. I didn't. I think Happy People is the name of of the label. You know, he's another one. He's like he's like Chuck across the Atlantic. You know what I mean? He's. Just, I, I know. I know who Sean is. I know who Sean is. Sean is. A, Sean is. You know, he's another motherfucker. Yeah, he's from the International Scar Festival over there. Yeah, yeah, that and Pama and and yeah. So yeah, when like a short, a, a small pressing of that and hopefully that's going to give us more love in the uk maybe do yes. one or well, at rec or whatever just get just to get the word out you know yeah definitely appreciate that because love us rock started in the uk yeah yeah for sure so that's cradle of well, love rock. yeah that's that's your mecca right there no doubt so i i believe they receive you very well oh then, chuck is in the chat big up chuck they use selector they're gonna, they're gonna blast off man what happened? Chuck is I said, when they hear Selector, they're gonna blast off one day. Oh, you're talking about the song? Is this a new one? Is that what you're saying, buddy? Yeah, I'm dropping bombs, man. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> give us, give, you're, are you giving us some inside scoop that you're not letting us really privy into? Is that the name of a song? M Mr. Selector is is the name of a tune, and and, and you, it's it's. It's it, it, when we play it, we're like, this is our UK song. Like, it, it, I almost hear LKJ over top of it. You know what I mean? Like, oh wow! The dub poetry over the track. Oh wow! Okay. But that's what we tell ourselves. I'm you just know, spreading rumors, man. Don't mind me. I'm just spreading rumors. Have we uh, finished all of the videos, John? Okay, because I'm looking at the time and it's it's time to go, and I'm gonna say, uh, "Love and Papa's hold tight." And uh, we shall see you on car sessions because I'm going to bring you back as, and play you as much as I can. And you can jump on my live anytime you like. There's a button that says, I want to join. So just join. Thank Hello. you for having Thank Cooley. you, Thank you so Thank much for having us, Cooley. And this is your second interview or your third now? Second with you. Four. It's our second interview with you we've and had, our second interview we've had so oh, many man. hey big love big love to tim and april too man big love oh, big time. yes big man time. shout out to tim and april to make this thing possible love and johnny guys. bravo back there the um the itro tower over there back there and uh, johnny bravo oh you can't uh, you can't appear can you appear oh oh <laughs> <laughs> he's getting head right now that you can't see it but it's happening i cannot appear i'm just the voice Ladies and gentlemen, this is, has been another Saturday night supernova, and it's the cool Thanks, edition. Thanks, You're quite Cooley. welcome. I still haven't gotten a chance to talk to you, but I will chat to you. As play, you know. out. play us out, bro. You playing us out? Yeah, play us out. Play us out. <laughs>